Bonjour à tous! In this video, we're going to learn how to create color switches like this for our Shopify product page. You want to learn how to do that? Well, you gotta stay tuned for that. Before we begin this video, I just want to mention that we'll be using the Shopify theme called Done in this video. So what that means, what I'm trying to say is, if you're using a different Shopify theme or if you have a different Shopify theme, then this video is probably not for you because not all themes, not all Shopify themes are written the same way. They will have a different template file, section files, and so on. So if you want to do what I'm doing in this video, what I'm going to do in this video, then you're probably not going to be able to follow along because you're using a different Shopify theme. So make sure if you want to do what I'm doing in here in this video, make sure that you're going to use done as well. Okay, so we're going to divide this video into two sections or two parts. The first is setting up the meta fields. And then the second is using liquid to access the meta fields. So obviously we're going to code, but don't worry. This is honestly really, really easy. In fact, we can do the switches, the color switches in just 10 lines of code. How cool is that? So without further ado, let's open our Shopify Steam. Shopify Steam. So without further ado, let's open our Shopify store and start working. So I'm right over here in my development store. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create the meta fields. So let's access the settings page. Let's open the meta fields page. And here we're going to create one definition for the variance. So select the variance. And then we're going to create a new definition. So click add definition. And then for the name, you can just call it something like color hex or just color. It doesn't really matter. You can just select color. And then for the namespace and key, you can just change the my fields from my fields to something like color. And then instead of color, change it to value. So it's going to be variant that meta fields that color that value. If you want to access the value of this meta field. And for the description, you can just leave it empty if you want. I'll just leave it empty. And then for the content type, we're going to select color. So make sure that you select color, okay? Select color and then hit save. And we should have the following definition or meta fields. So the next thing that we're going to do is to create the values for our variants. So let's open the products page in a new tab. Let me just open that. And then I'm going to select one product. Say for example, I'll select the sports watch, this one. So you can just select any product you want as long as there are variants. So here, if we scroll down, I have the following variants. So I have blue, gold, purple, and then black. Now keep in mind, the option is color. So if you have like, say for example, there are, there are cases that you have multiple options, not just color, but also you have sizes. I don't know, maybe there is like weight as well or height and so on. Those are sizes as well, but whatever. So my point is we're going to only customize or create the buttons for the color option. We're not going to customize the sizes as well. It's not gonna be the case. So let's go back in here and here, I'm going to select the edit button and we're going to apply a color to this variant. So if you scroll down, we should have the following meta fields. So you can just change the value of this by clicking the color. And then since this is going to be um, blue, I'm going to select color blue. So here I'll just set it to blue, hit save. And the next stop is for the gold. I'll select the gold. And then I'm going to change the color to something like gold. So maybe something like this. Hit save. And the next stop is for the purple. Select the purple and then change the color to something like purple. So I'll change this to something like that. Hit save. And last is the pink, I believe, or black. So here we have black. I'll change the color to black, something like that. Hit save. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the colors, the next thing that we're going to do is to write codes. So let's go back to online store. I'll open this in a new tab and then we're going to open the code editor. So let's just wait for it to be loaded. And I'm going to select actions and select edit code. You should open the following code editor. And the first thing that we're going to do is to open the sections folder, scroll down and open the sections folder. Should be right over here, sections. And scroll down and open and look for the main product that liquid. 
So here, as you can see, we have main product that liquid. That's the product page. Okay, open that. And we should have the following code. This is going to be really um, confusing. So make sure that you pay attention. So I'm going to press Control F to open the following search box or search input field. So if you're using Mac, I believe it's going to be uh, Command and then F to open this search box. And then we can just type something in here like variant. Make sure you type it correctly. Variant underscore picker. So we should have the following when tag. So basically what this means is if or when the block that type is set to variant picker, it should render the following button or radio. We also have in here something like block that sends that picker type. It's either button or um, drop down. So since we are using buttons, we're going to customize the following variant radios. So inside of this, we have a for tag and that says for each option in product options with values. So this is the option that I'm talking about. It's the options, sizes, colors, weight, etc. Those are the options. And then inside of this for tag, we also have the following for tag that loops through the values. So for each value in options, we have red, blue, yellow, gold, pink, black. Those are the values that we need to customize. So inside of this four, we have the following input field and we'll also have in here the label. So the label is basically this that you're seeing right over here. Let me just open our Shopify store and I'm going to open the product. So I'm going to open view all and it should be this one, sport watch LED luxury. So here, these are the labels, black, blue, black, gold, black, purple, black, black. So honestly, if we change this to something like, um, hello, if we concatenate something like that, then if we refresh our page, we should have black, blue, hello, black, gold, hello, and so on. So basically what we're going to do is to customize this label and apply a color. So here I'm going to get rid of the hello. And in this label tag, I'm going to use the style attribute and I'm going to use the background hyphen color. And for its value, we're going to use the meta field. So if we go back to the meta fields, you can access the meta fields using the following. So variant that meta fields that color that value. But since we are looping inside of the options, how can we access the variant meta fields? Since this is not a product variant. Well, it's honestly really easy. We can use the for loop object to get the index. So if you take a look in here in the for attribute, as you can see, it's using the for loop that index zero. So we're going to use that as well to get the meta fields or to get the variants. So in this object that we just created, we're going to use the product that variants and this is going to be using an array. So create open and close brackets. And then inside of this brackets, we're going to use the for loop object and then the attribute index zero. And then outside of this bracket, we're going to access the meta fields. And then this is where you're going to use the color and the namespace color and then the key value. Okay, so let's go back to the code editor and here, meta fields, that namespace, the namespace is color and then the key is value. So again, product that variance, it's an array. So we're going to pass an index. So for loop that index zero, and then we're going to access the meta fields and should be the namespace color and then the key value. Okay. Now, if I honestly save this, and if we go back to our browser or our storefront, and if we refresh this page, this time, take a look now, the buttons is colored. So now the black, blue is blue, gold, purple, and black. Now let's just get rid of the labels. I don't like the labels. So let's just go back to the code editor. And here I'll just get rid of the value. But you know what the problem is if we open another product. Say for example, let's open another product. So I'm going to go back to the products page and let's just say I want to access this one. As you can see, they don't have meta fields. So it's going to display just the um, the label silver, blue, red, white, and so on. But 
what happens if we get rid of the value? Obviously, all of this will disappear. The silver blue, the labels basically will disappear. So what we're going to do is to make a condition if the meta fields contains a value. If it contains a value, then we're going to use the colors. Otherwise, don't change anything. Just display the default label. So here, above the label, I'm going to create an if tag. So create a tag, and then so it should be if. And then the condition is if the product that variance and then the index is for loop that index zero and then we're going to access the meta fields and then the namespace color and then the value if it's set then we're going to use the label that we customized otherwise let's just use the default label so here inside of the if we're going to use that label and then underneath of this label i'm going to create an else so else and then underneath of this else i'm going to duplicate the label let's just duplicate the label right over here and let's just get rid of the style we don't need the style so i'll just delete all of this just like that so we just need the label the non-customized label the default label if you say so and then let's just end the if tag so end if close that and now if we save this all right so we got an error and for okay so i believe we made a typo right over here in the else supposed to be percentage symbol let me just indent this this one as well the end if just like that hit save once again this time it should work there you go let's go back to our product now if i refresh this page it should not change anything it should be as is but this one, if I refresh this, it should have the same output. But now if I get rid of the value and replace that with something like backspace, so ampersand NBSP, NBSP semicolon. And if I save this, and if you go back to the sport watch, if I refresh this, as you can see, we have the button without the label. And if we refresh this one, it should have the same label so now even if you have a lot of products and you haven't set the meta fields for those products they will have the same labels or buttons they won't have the colors and on its background and that's because yeah we made a condition that checks if the meta fields is set if they're set then use it otherwise don't just use this the default button but we still have a problem the problem is if you set the color or the meta field color to a variant it will also apply the same style to the next option so like i said we have options like um, colors and then sizes right so if you set a color to the variant meta field the um the buttons for the um the sizes will also have the background so we're going to fix that so honestly let me show you what i'm talking about so here um say for example let's open the product this one and i'm going to create another option so let's just scroll down and i'm going to select more options and i'm going to edit the options and here i'll create another option and that's for the size and i'll set its default size to something like one click done and hit save there you go so as you can see it also applied the same style to the size and you don't want that so to fix that what we're going to do is to apply another condition that's going to be um, checking if the option is color okay so let's go back to the code editor and here in this condition if the product variance meta fields color value is set and we're going to apply in here another condition so type end and if the option dot value is equal to color then we're going to use the label with a background color style so if we save this and if we go back to our product we had another option if you refresh that okay so it went back to the default label we may have um, ruined that so instead of value should be name not value so let me just uh, change that to name so option that name okay save it once again let's go back to our product refresh the page and this time we should have the color switches and the size it's not going to be styled as well 
So there you have it guys, that's how you create the color switches for the Shopify theme called Done. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe for more Shopify theme development related videos. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.